So the process of building this sculpture is with a TIG welder. So everything has been TIG welded, as you can see. These welds have never been ground down. And that's one of the nice things about this. You can actually see the craftsmanship in the, in the sculpture. Another thing that I like about TIG welding is it gives it a very soft feel. There's no sharp edges on this whatsoever, which is critically important for public art. This piece here also has a little uh, tree frog hidden in its belly that if people with kids come by, they can see it. It's a great piece. The head of the sculpture stands eight feet tall. And this color, this nice oxidization is caused from Core 10 steel. And Core 10 is what the government makes bridges and guardrails out of it. And they use it because it has such a long life, low maintenance. The oxidization or the rust actually helps to protect the metal long term. It all starts with a flat sheet. And you can see here there's a seam. And so the, the reason for this seam is I work in four by eight sheets of steel and this piece here will be fit perfectly on a four by eight. And then we'll make this secondary sheet and a third sheet. Those pieces are then all welded together to create the silhouette. This piece here is one big long flat sheet of metal that I then put through a roller and weld it up together. All the curves that you see here are hand bent and so it's a process through clamping, a little bit of heat when we need it, and uh, leverage to get these, this metal to bend and form into its shape. So the bone is done for two reasons. When I created my first one, it was a too much um, of just almost like a wall. And so it needed a relief in the negative space in there. And so the bone is what really helped to make it. The bone actually serves for two reasons. One, it helps us in the build process. This piece is so big, I can't actually build it standing up in my shop, so it's laid down on a table. And these bones help us to keep the two, the two side pieces apart during the build. Today in America, it's something like 50% of households own a dog, so there's so much love and passion for these creatures. That's great to come out and see one get its uh, rightful place.